so welcome back this module we are going to see a closer look at mask data overview let us base this on dmpok2 dmpok means data management body of knowledge this demo provides us a framework around master data management it talks about reference data and master data so we will look into master data and reference data a little later but before that let's get understand about this framework this framework has definition about master data management then some of the goals of master data management and the business drivers that drive the program and technical drivers that supports the implementation and again this is a reference from dama the national dm uk2 so when i look at the definition it says managing shared data to meet organizational goals reduce risk associated with data redundancy ensure high quality and reduce the cost of data integration so we understand reference data and master data are shared data in the organization and master data management is managing the shared data that means reference data and master data to meet organizational goals which reduce the risk associated with data redundancy ensure high quality and reduce the cost of data integration so that is by definition then the framework gives certain goals for master data management they are enable sharing of information assets across business domains and applications within the organization the first goal of data management or mdm is enable sharing of information assets across business domains and applications within the organization so since it is a shared information shared data this shared data it is enabled across the organization across business domains and applications the second goal providing authoritative source of reconciled and quality assessed master and reference data you know through the process of mdm we are reconciling and quality assessing the quality of master and reference data so the golden record the best data available the most trusted source all these are relevant at this goal then third goal lowering cost and complexity through use of standards common data models and integration patterns those are the goals of mdm see mdm is driven by business drivers and supported by technical drivers for the business drivers what are the activities the activities are first identify drivers and requirements in that validate data define definitions second activity evaluate and assess data sources again define architectural approach model data define stewardship and maintenance process establish governance policies then implement data sharing integration services in which we have the accurate data source for sharing publish reference and master data so those are the main activities in the business drivers then what are the inputs for the activity so the business drivers cross functional requirements industry standards data glossary purchased data or open data and core sets 
business rules. These activities are executed on these inputs. And what are the deliverables? Deliverables are master and reference data requirements, data models and integration patterns, reliable reference and master data, reusable data services. So the first step, we have inputs, activities and deliverables. And you know, in the whole activity who are supplying these inputs, who are participating in the activities, who are consuming the deliverables, that's important, right? Subject matter experts, data stewards, application developers, data providers, business analysts, infrastructure system analysts. This set of people are the suppliers of this input. Okay. Then who are participating in the activity? Data analyst, data modelers, data stewards, data integrators, data architects, data quality analyst. So this is again a cross-functional or it needs a lot of multi skill set. So analysts cannot do these things or stewards cannot do this. It is a collaborative effort to execute the MDM activities. Then who are consuming the deliverables? That's a major question. So master data analyst, data integrators, data architects, application users, application developers, and solution architects. They are consuming the deliverables. So overall, from a MTM process point of view, activities are important. Activities need inputs. Activities as deliverables. Then suppliers of the inputs, participants of activities, and consumers of deliverables. Hope you understand this. So many times, I know this is a little bit difficult, but I think going forward and we will understand more about this. Again, coming to the technical drivers, there is techniques like conditions of use agreement, business key cross references, then processing log analysis, then tools, data modeling tool, metadata repositories, data profiling and quality tools, data integration tools, MDM application platforms, data sharing, integration architecture. They are the tools and metrics are data quality and compliance metrics, data change activity, data consumption and services, data sharing availability, data steward coverage, data sharing volume and utilization. So together, business drivers and technical drivers and following the framework, yes. So DAMA provides this MTM framework for master data management and following this framework will really help us do the MTM successfully. I think it's good to understand about master data and reference data a little more before we proceed with MTM. So master data, master data is data about business entities. If I say example, it could be employee, customers, products, financial structure, assets and location, etc. So those data provide context for your business transaction and analysis. This employee, customer, products, financial structure, asset and location give you context for business transaction. Then coming to reference data. The reference data, reference data is any data used to characterize or classify other data or to relate data to information and external to organization. The most basic reference data consists of code or description. But of course, some reference data can of course be hierarchical. They could be hierarchical and that requires some mapping. Okay, so we have just seen overview from a DAMA point of view and just looked at master data and reference data. In the next session we will see about MDM definitions.